Welcome everybody, my name is Paul Spires. I'm a country realtor in the western part of Virginia and I live near Lexington, Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley, beautiful area. I was a practicing photographer for quite a long time and I did aerial photography as well. And now I am a realtor and I specialize in real estate in the rural areas and homesteads and recreation type property and so on. Virginia is very beautiful. You can explore my website and see much other uh, various videos about various aspects of buying and selling real estate in Virginia. But today I'm going to talk a little bit about what a realtor does for the client to help them sell a property. If it's you, listen, help. this is for the sellers mainly, but buyers can learn a lot from listening to information about how uh, a property is bought and sold and particularly what we go through to make a transaction successful win-win for everybody. And it starts with finding out who you are, what, you, what your needs are, because there's a lot of different needs of property sales. People sell because of maybe someone passed away or they get a transfer, they moved, or they need a larger house, or maybe they need a, lar a smaller house. So there's a lot of different reasons why people move and want to sell their house. So the timing is also very critical because when you sit down with someone like myself, a practicing real estate agent, we want to find out a little bit more about you and your goals. Do you want to sell right away? Is there a pressing need to sell? Um, so on, pricing and so on. So we want to know about you and your goals. Then we want to know a little bit about the property. Well, we want to know a lot about the property. We want to know as much as we possibly can because anything that we can do, find out, to present it to the public in a way and promote it, it's going to be an advantage. So we want to know exactly what your property is. Maybe it's similar to other properties, but it has a certain extra thing, like maybe an enclosed porch or something or, or a nice deck or something. So your particular property we want to know it very very well and as a realtor I walk around a lot of different properties and I want to see inside outside in the cabinets I want to know exactly what I'm trying to sell here because that's my job I and mean, my job is to try to not only know exactly what the property is but to investigate, uh, calculate some kind of a value of the property so that we can put it on the market at the right price. Now that's another thing that we're going to go into here. We're going to decide the, the timing of it and the price. The price would be a property that has to be within the current market, the demand, and so on. And that's why you need to consult with a professional because you people try to sell their house on their own and that's that's a really noble thing to do. You can try to save a little commission, but generally speaking it amounts to a lot of different calculations. Uh, extra uh, costs and time and problems trying to sell your house on your own that's why you get a professional involved and we can help you out a lot and one of the things is to determine the price the price of your property has to do with this current market as I mentioned and that's something that we as realtors we look at the different listings every day we want what's new in the market we find out you know what's going on in the marketplace I drive around do a lot of scouting and I talk to people on the phone who are for sale by owners and I talk to other agents and I go look at property on behalf of clients so what I do is I try to find out what the market price is going to be now and if you have a unique property much like in the countryside there's many many unique properties because you drive a mile down the road it's totally different <laughs> and uh, so it's very difficult to get a real uh, comparative market analysis, which we do a professional terminology for just basically a market analysis of your property. And then we start to prepare the documents. There's a whole bunch of them that you don't always need to know all about, but there's various kinds of uh, disclosure we need to make, and we need to find out about the septic and the well. We need to have um, prepare a contract. Uh, you know for sale if someone wants to buy it from you we we have to review the contract if we offer it for sale we, there's a multiple listing service data sheet that we need to fill out there's all kinds of little nitty-gritty things we need to get into such as agency and if you're selling a property whether you know about the septic and whether the, if it's old enough you have to know about whether there's any lead paint issues in the property and so on so it gets a little complicated but we realtors that's what we do we fill out the paperwork and on your behalf and make sure it's all right and i review it with a team of brokers we have 
a whole agency here. It's not just me working as a team of us that work. I work for Lion's Team Realty in Moneta, Virginia. Um, my name is Paul Smyers. So basically, marketing, that's another thing we do. Once we get it on the market here, we say, okay, how are we going to present this property? What is a likely buyer? And what kind of income bracket do they need to be in? Because if the house is a millionaire, if it's like a $5 million house, we know there's only a fairly small number of people in the country or in the state who might want to buy a $5 million house, you see. But on the other hand, if it's a $250,000 house, there's a whole lot of people who want to buy that house, perhaps. And we need to present it. Part of it is making a nice description. I have some facilities words. I've been on the internet for a long time, and I've studied writing and so on. But anyway, I have a way of presenting a property and describing it nicely, and I also have a photography experience, so I can also do drone photography. I have a licensed drone photography uh, license and permit. So I know how to take pictures of a property, so that's one thing we want to do. We want to make sure that we accent your property in the best possible way, because pictures can be very deceptive. I see pictures online that I know as a photographer, the lens is so distorted that the room, you know it's like a, maybe like a eight by 10 room, but it looks looks bigger because of the lens that they use, you see? So um, presenting your property honestly in the marketplace, the last thing we need is like a whole bunch of people coming in to see the property who have no idea they just see one picture maybe and they just come in they all know as soon as they come this is a waste of everybody's time present the property as is way it is because otherwise uh, you know you just get a lot of disappointments a lot of traffic and waste of time you present the property do your best to make sure the property is ready clean up the yard clean up the house do everything possible because you spend a few weekends with your family and friends cleaning up your house and it can make a difference of thousands and thousands of dollars on the offer and also the speed at which the, the house is sold you see so you can help out your realtor have an honest conversation okay look we realtors we see all kinds of houses don't worry if your house is cluttered okay people live in their house for a long time don't worry about it we're not judgmental we just assess what's you know and then you do your part to help clean the house up if it's needed so um, on the other side is just as you're if you're a house owner and you're listening to this someday you may want to sell your house take care of your property just over the years just do little things a little bit every year every month or whatever just keep it tidy and nice so when the time comes and you sell your property you don't have to get into a situation where you're panicking because oh my god I gotta do all this stuff in my house just do it along the way so that when you do sell your house it's ready okay so uh, we answer a lot of phone calls a lot of phone calls so what we do when we present a property we try to limit the number of phone calls we don't want to just people offering fifty thousand dollars below offering and and just wasting our time we want qualified people who say okay this is i know what i'm looking at on here i see some great pictures it's well described and it's in the area that i like and i can see maybe a video I can make a video of your property on and put it up on YouTube and so on and if people can have a really good base of information when they they might be coming to your house say man I've seen everything I know it's beautiful and they walk in with a check you see understand mind about money deposit so houses can sell fast if they're presented well see it makes a big difference negotiation we realtors do negotiate and it can be like almost like a little bit of a poker game because on the other hand we don't want to just say my, my client is so hard-nosed they're stuck at a price way over market and we're not dealing we're but we're not budging and that's the way it is so you can be like that but you're not going to get very many offers if any and your house may not ever sell so as a seller you need to be somewhat open to some kind of negotiation the realtor have a conversation price it right in the marketplace maybe a tad higher just within maybe you know we are going to get some nice offers if you stage it well you can put it on the higher end and maybe even get some bids above that so if you if it's just you don't want to do anything to your property and just say i want to sell it as is okay well then you can expect a lower price and be, be willing to do that because if someone has to come in and clean up a whole yard and property and everything they're going to spend a whole lot of time and money doing that and you're going to have to negotiate because your house is not going to get the top bid unless it's ready and looks attractive to people um, so we negotiate on price and every single offer that we get no matter what it is we're supposed to present it to you okay sometimes we get lowball offers okay i tell you okay we got a lowball offer 
then we get a nice offer say okay it isn't maybe top dollar maybe it's not over but maybe at least you can um, basically accept that offer perhaps and negotiate about it and come with a backup <clears throat> so the final thing that we do is we follow through on our, our uh, experiences with the with the buyers and sellers if, if the transaction happens and goes through the closing then we will follow it all through it's kind of like we nurture that sale you know every time someone calls us and once the sale the contract is has happened we got to like nurture that sale like a little seed and get it all the way to the closing and the closing can take some time there's all kinds of stuff that happens sometimes there's there's various kinds of um, inspections that need to happen and so on and uh, then we can um, proceed through the process and get ourselves to the end of the, the closing and the closing date is like on or about a certain date and Sometimes at the end you find out how well, some paperwork is not quite ready or inspection didn't happen in time or we had some weather issues and so on but then we get close to closing it's on or about and everybody tries to make sure that it happens because there's a lot of professionals involved once you start once you have an accepted contract then all kinds of stuff is happening and everybody's like okay we got to get this through here the attorneys are on they're antenna up there and all the realtors and all the inspectors are going to go through and people go to their banks and they negotiate and so there's a whole lot of people involved in finishing up a transaction in real estate so um, I hope I've been informative here um, like and share please if you will and uh, subscribe and maybe go on and see some of my other videos about various aspects of buying and selling real estate in particular in Virginia I really enjoy uh, communicating with the customers here on YouTube and uh, you may be way out of state and looking for a property somewhere else, but maybe something I've said uh, can help you navigate through the process, especially if it's in a rural area. So thanks again for listening and hope to see you in some of my other videos.